Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be playing my favorite game for the past, man, what has it been, eight years now? And it's War Thunder. Now I realize there's a lot of content creators out there who play War Thunder right now, but I'm going to bring something a bit different to the table. I'm going to go in depth on how you can be the best use to your team possible with each plane. I would go in depth on tanks as well, but I'm not too experienced with them and I'm not very good. But with aircraft, I was top 600 in kills a couple months ago. And if you guys don't believe me, I'll show you my stats real quick so you know what I'm talking about. Feel free to pause and take a look. Alright, today we're going to start off with something I see a lot of newer players having trouble with, and even some of the more experienced players. We're going to be taking out the P-51, D-30, and Air RB, and I'm going to show you guys what it takes to fly it well. Alright, let's go. I recommend taking 30 minutes of fuel. It's just better to stay in the fight longer. Now, a couple common mistakes I just want to get out of the way right now is it's always better to climb too fast than it is to climb too slow. Because if you're climbing too slow and somebody dies and attacks you, there's not much you can do. You're pretty much just a sitting duck. But if you have some extra speed while you're climbing, you can pull off, make a maneuver, get out of his gun sight, and maybe survive. Also, another thing, a lot of these planes require manual engine controls. I just have all the buttons assigned to my numpad, so I can put prop pitch 90%, open up the radiators a bit, and that should keep the engines from overheating. Now in a plane like this, you want to try to stay at high altitude for as long as you can. It's a high altitude fighter, so you want to be, even though it doesn't climb faster than what you're going to be facing, which is mostly BF 109s and 190s, you want to try to get up there, side climb, stay away from the fight till you're above everybody, or at an equal height. You also don't want to get two target fixed on a single target, because if you get so fixed on shooting down that one target, you won't have any situational awareness anymore. So we're just going to climb off to the side here, because most of the fighters are going to be doing the same thing as our guys here. be flying straight towards each other. So if I can fly off to the side here, and then turn in and come in from their side, they won't be expecting me as much. And it also gives me a little bit more of an opportunity to climb. Now once everybody starts merging, you'll see a lot of people just go on head-ons and throw their planes away. That's that's never a good idea. The longer you're alive, the better you are for the team, and the more rewards you get, contrary to what people think. Everybody just wants to rush in and get the rewards for getting a kill, but that, in the end it's a slow process if you do that. So it looks like we're facing Spitfires and 109s. Now on the bright side, it doesn't look like we have any attackers. So everybody's climbing, that's a good sign. And you see, even though I'm climbing at a lower angle, at a higher speed, I'm not that far below most of the other planes, even the Ki-84s. So Spitfire is not something we want to go down low with. 109, not something we want to go down low with. In this game, the 109's a bit stunted. It's not as good as it should be, even the K-4. If you fly it in DCS and IL-2, you'll notice that at lower altitudes, that thing's a monster. It's fast, it accelerates good, it climbs good, it turns better than the P-51. It's basically an all-around better plane at lower altitudes. I usually recommend climbing to about 18,000 feet. Even if you see all your teammates down low, ground pounding and getting killed, don't bite the bait. Try to stay up high, try to stick with a few teammates who did climb, because you can turn the game easily. There's games where you can get 4 or 5 kills because of that. Now if this is a VK-107 Yak, we're going to have to be pretty careful here. And it looks like it is, because that thing is quick. Okay, I'm going to turn on this yak. And always make sure you're not putting yourself in a position where you're going to go defensive. You always want to stay on the offensive as long as you can. Nobody behind us. Now I'm just coming back from a break from War Thunder here, and it looks like the American teams are really stepping up their game. You know, a month or two ago, it wouldn't have looked like this. Everybody would have had bombs and rockets, and they'd be on the deck. Alright, this EX pulling up. We're in a good position to get a shot off here. Hopefully I don't choke.
Hit. Kill. Okay, we got two guys down low, three guys down low. If you go to fight the LA-9s on their own turf, which is low altitude, there's not going to be much you can do. But because we have the high altitude performance advantage, we can pretty much dominate an LA-9 if we wanted to. You just have to be patient. So I'm going to stay up high even though I don't see anybody up here. Sometimes there's always that one guy that climbs to space as well. So we got four, five, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys left. One of them's a bomber, so seven guys left. We see five of them. Six. So that's one guy on account of four. We have guys down here engaging these, so I'm going to go for these two guys over here. Because if they join the fight... Looks like our allies would probably be at a disadvantage here. Okay. Nose over. The enemy is winning. Now these guys are really occupied with killing AI planes, it looks like. Yeah. So because he's turning around trying to shoot all these guys, we're going to go for him because he's going to be low energy. We just have to be careful not to enter too fast. We're not going to be able to pull off our shot. Do a little barrel roll to bleed some speed. Now if this was an attack I performed a DCS or IL-2... My chances of succeeding here would be very slim. Because if you go into first person, oops, you would see if I pulled lead, I couldn't, I would no longer be able to see him. But because we're in third person, this is actually a pretty easy shot here, especially as slow as he's going. Squeeze the trigger. Got a couple hits. He's on fire. Gonna so pull off. There's no sense in bleeding more speed. Now we're going to gain some energy back in a shallow climb. Because again, this this is especially true here. You want to stay in a shallow climb after you dove down like this. Because if you come climbing up at 150 miles per hour, some guy's going to dive down and clean you up. So there's two guys left. One bomber, one fighter. And they're both right here. And hopefully we don't have an airfield camper here. I think we have enough planes over here where the AA is dispersed enough where we can actually make an attack here, so let's go for it. There's still a high chance of us getting shot down, though. Now it looks like he jade out. Okay. Nope, just repaired. And he's taking off. Hmm. I would have jade out right there if that was me, because there's a very slim chance I'm actually going to do something against anybody. Okay. Lost one guy to AA. I'm going to try to lure him away from his AA, or airfield a little bit. Do some maneuvers to get away from that. Yeah, he's just going to keep circling his airfield. So, I'm not going to risk my plane. I'm just going to go ground pound for the rest of this match. Unless he decides to leave his airfield. Which usually they do. So, he's right there. Looks like he's flying away from his airfield. So, I'll turn back and engage. If you have buttons on your mouse, I would recommend binding one of them to elevator down. So that way if you're turning, you can just tap that throughout your turn so you don't bleed as much speed. Comes in handy a lot. Now this is a situation where you can either throw your plane away for a possible kill, 
Or you could guard this guy to make sure he doesn't re-enter the battle while your teammates finish off the ground units. Which is what I'm going to do right now, so... I'll cut ahead until something fun happens. So we do have an IL-10 ground attacker. It's an AI plane. It's near our altitude and looks like it's climbing, so it's an easy kill. Still got plenty of ammo left. I think I should be safe to circle around and shoot this one down as well. Get him before he destroys another one of our tanks or pillboxes. Potato aim. There's some bad shooting on my part there. So that's a, that's a good place to drop in another quick tip. If somebody's ever coming at you, you always want to turn to the sides or turn down. You'll have a much harder time hitting you, because if you're up against the sky, it's a lot easier shot. See, we're not the highest scoring on that match, but even still, just by staying alive, getting a couple kills, we got pretty good rewards. I would have gotten more if I was researching a uh, plane that was closer to the P-51, but because I'm researching the F-3H, you know, there's a penalty for that. Alright guys, that'll do for this video. I really enjoyed making this one, so I think I'm going to continue this series and give you guys some more tips on different planes and what you can do, and just general good info, help your team out. Alright guys, have a good one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and have a good one.